Hi guys, Cinematic Recapped here. Before we start, morning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a British science fiction and drama movie, called Frequencies. The movie starts with a group of students lining up at the front of the class. The plot will focus on a student named Marie. After entering the class, they are immediately asked to do the exam which has been placed on their desks, but the difference is that this exam has to be done with their eyes closed. This is done to determine the luck level of all students in the class. The luckier they are, the more successful their lives will be in the future. Surprisingly, Marie gets a score above 100 which is 127, while her other friends only get an average score of 70. After that, a boy named Zach comes after being forced by his friend Theo. It turns out that Zach was the only student who got a score below 0, which is minus 7. From this information, they all believe that a meeting between the students who have the lowest score and the highest score will cause a negative friction. Sure enough, after the two meets for one minute, the sunny weather immediately turns cloudy. Marie who has arrived at her house immediately gives the results of her exam to her father. From her test scores, her father concludes that Marie has a very high frequency which will attract all kinds of luck to her at the same time. That's why the concept of assessment applied by Marie's school is very different from other schools in general, where currently all schools think that the high or low frequency of a person will affect that person's luck. On the other hand, people who have a high frequency also have a weakness, which have less feelings. Obviously, it makes Marie's parents quite sad. For many years, Marie cannot socialize with others and she only focuses on her own work. In fact, she is also known as a student who acts like a robot without feelings, unlike humans in general. Somehow, she is interested in conducting experiments related to negative friction that she had done a few years ago. Of course, she needs Zach as the student who has the lowest frequency level in her first experiment. While waiting for one minute, she succeeds again to prove the existence of the friction and repeats the experiment in stages. Before the second experiment, the two of them has met, but strangely Zach cannot say anything and immediately faints. On the third experiment, Zach has to obey Marie's order again, which makes him fall in love with her secretly. Finally, on the fourth experiment, he confesses his feelings to Marie, but unfortunately she rejects him from the start, saying that she has only intended to do research on both of them. On the fifth experiment, Mary confirms that she does not feel anything as long as she is dealing with Zach all this time. She also emphasizes that she has only pretended to smile or cry at him in the experiment. Long story short, Mary is getting older and she plans to continue her life as usual. She is always greeted with good luck anywhere and anytime. Unfortunately, Marie has to take various drugs for the sake of her emotional development. Even on her birthday party, she can only stay silent without greeting each other. Until one time, Zach also comes to her birthday party. He then tries to encourage Mary so she can talk a lot. Sadly, Marie is still showing her pretense as if Zach does not know about it. Later, they meet again at the school reunion. For the umpteenth time, Zach still has not given up talking to Mary even though their time is limited for one minute. At this time, he says that he is able to raise his frequency level to be on par with Marie. From his confession, Marie actually does not believe him. In addition, Zach also says that the only way to balance the frequency is by touching each other's hands. After a few minutes, she suddenly starts to feel something different from her body. It is not known exactly how she feels, but it is clear that she feels warm and she does not want to let go of Zach's hand. Amazingly, Zach also manages a kiss from Marie for the first time. The two end up spending the night together. The scene goes back in time before they started the test earlier at the school. It turns out that Zach became interested in Marie after she was nice to him at school. For this reason, he insists on studying at the school even though the principal said that he was not able to develop like other students. His only main goal is to try to get close to Marie who is known as a special and arrogant student. Since then, various ways have been done by him such as learning about frequencies with Theo and also studying music with Theo's father. However, it all meant nothing after he interacts with Marie face to face and holding her hand for the first time. Furthermore, Zach is also offered by Marie to touch her body as freely as possible. At this moment, she believes that it has succeeded in making her feel what anxiety was because Zach's touch earlier has made her feel nervous for the first time in her life. As a result, the two of them end up spending the night together after Marie allows Zach to touch her body freely. Unexpectedly, Marie does not have her usual luck in the next day. She misses a train right away without knowing the reason which usually she never missed a train at all. Besides that, the money she encounters on the road this time is not as much as before. With such a drastic change, her parents are confused and shocked when they saw their daughter inviting a man to her house. Not only that, Marie greets them excitedly as if she has feelings. Most importantly, 
there is no longer a time limit for both of them to be together, unlike before where they can only talk for one minute. Soon, her parents are not happy when they find out that Zack has changed their daughter's fate. He then receives a warning from the government agency related to this. It is revealed that the world they currently live in believes that luck is above everything. Therefore, Zack is considered to have committed a great crime after he accidentally decreased Marie's luck beforehand. During his sentence, he keeps thinking why everyone was born with a different level of frequency. He also wonders how people can coexist if they have different frequency levels in the future. Because of all these questions, he suddenly makes a request that he can be reunited with Theo's father to discuss the problems. At this point, Theo's father admits that his family has never been affected by the frequency. It turns out that he keeps the answer to overcome the differences in the frequency of each person over generations. He says that the only way to balance everyone's frequencies is to listen to the music composed by Mozart. Indubitably, this method is much better than the brief method that Zach did to Marie. In the end, the government agency decides to play Mozart's song all over the world after knowing about the truth. This is intended so that everyone is able to live without being limited by the differences in their respective frequencies and they can live with a better civilization. Meanwhile, Zack and Marie realize that their love was caused by fate, not by choice. Because of that, the two of them hold hands and continue to live happily together. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.